Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing Tuesday afternoon. So very happy to be here for show number 2166 here on Twitch. Can we kick things off with the Kestrel A, the inaugural vessel of FTL? Uh, see what we can do. Let's hop right in the game and see where it takes us. Some more fun, I'm sure. Before we do, going to cop all the fine people in chat here and your wonderful support. What a great day to be here uh, streaming some FTL. Hey there, Elusive. Up, friend of the trees, harmless penguin, no crow, 1704, Delbach, Zimius, Katarn, what's up, loose minded, Dikowski, Steve, version 5, Cryptic 22, what's up, Jupin, Lynx, Andy, Ferret Bomb, hey there, Hans, Trashy, the most legal Orison, the freak, the king, hey there, Cargol, Frub McGee, hey there, JJ Crib, it's good, Spell Siger, hey there, Kiku Zinderdorf. Hey, before we even get started here, Ferret Bomb, thanks for 77 months, dude. And Reed, thanks for 76. Couple legends today. Feel free to throw out some name suggestions for this fine vessel. I'm going to grab names for the crew from our patron list. Okay, we got Extrusive. Nice. And we got Boris. And we got staunch. Kestrel is a pretty pretty good start. It's got Burst Laser 2, the best weapon in the game, and Artemis, which is a efficient uh, two damage missile. Uh, hopefully you don't have to use the Artemis too much, but it is a nice little bridge. Some good suggestions coming in here. I think I like sold as is. That's good. Thank you all for your wonderful creative suggestions. Let's kick it off. You're new to FTL. It is the roguelike game of space exploration. We're going to work our way through eight different sectors of randomly generated space on our way to a f giant enemy flagship fight. If we die at any point, have our hull go down to zero from this point all the way till sector eight, phase three of the flagship, we start right back here with a new ship. Along our journeys, we're going to collect scrap this value right here to upgrade our ship's systems, subsystems, purchase weapons, uh, etc. The Kestrel A, the starting missile, starts with Burst Laser 2 and Artemis. We only have 8 missile resource, but 2 damage in the early game for 1 missile disables most ships. So I think uh, Kestrel A has a pretty strong starting setup. Also looks to me like we can get one of these nebulas in. We got 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah. A little bit of a weird, uh, weird layout. We can make this work, though. Okay, we can hit the exit from either of these. Good. Since the exit is not is more than 50% inside over this uh, line, we could hit one of these two nebulas without losing the exit jump, or without actually extending it. Okay, enemy FTL charging is not great. Got to start with weapons here. Ooh, they hit shields? Dang. Um, okay, in that case, let's fire into here, and then we're gonna run over to shields. Please hit. Thank you. Um... Really don't want to use another missile here, but it's the right choice. They will get away if I don't uh, speed it up. I think this ship might have a system repair drone. That's what it feels like. Oh my goodness, another one? 
Okay, I'm gonna do it. Most ships won't require us to use one. They did have a system repair drone, I knew it. Okay, 17 scraps, good. We got two missiles back as well, so no real loss there. No. Okay, let's attack the ship. I'm gonna run over to shields here, uh, so we get less of the mini beam hitting us. Where'd they board at? Okay, right into shields. Never mind then. Okay, they had missed as well. Yikes. Okay, we'll fire this in. Kind of have to because uh, we can't repair the shields while somebody's in there. Okay, I was going to say, I'm going to wait for the repair to fire here. Hey, Game Tom Game, thanks for 11 awesome months. Much appreciation. Thank you. Oof. The misses. Okay, these aren't um, loaded up the same way anymore, so we're good. Cool, we can take out their NG. This will delay the repairs a lot. Nice. Mm -hmm. You know, we might have had a crew kill there, that's fair. It's possible. Oh, they hacked our engines. Sons of guns. Oh, didn't quite make it there in time. <laughs> they did it again. Take a look, actually. What's going on in there? Alright, Rock and Manus, probably not. Um, looks good. I'll just fire at drones here. Probably a good call just to buy shields here. That's what I'm going to do. Get two shields online. Hey there, sidekick. Nice to see you. What's good? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks good. Oh, man. Glad we bought two shields here, but still a pretty nasty setup. We'll never surrender one of our crew to Schlevers, however. Mm. Nice, we dodged the first volley. I'm going to try to hold off on the Artemis here. I want to see if we hit. Because I think we will. Indeed. Hmm. NG on there. Okay, in that case, I'm going to load the Artemis back up. 
Uh, we surrender or take one of our slaves as treatment. If you destroy us, they'll all die anyways. That is true, but... Fourth crew is nice. Not really necessary here, though. If that was a rock or an engineer, I'd snap it up. I think right now the high scrap reward is of higher importance to us. You turn down the, the slaver's tribute, you get a guaranteed uh, high scrap reward. Human crew is fine, but we already have all human crew, so we're not really getting a bonus other than manning the shields for that. Nice. Three fuel, one drone part, 20 scrap is a very nice reward. Okay, I'm going to buy one more power bar, and then we're pretty much in savings mode. Intervene and defend the outpost. Defending an outpost guarantees a double scrap reward here. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Been very low on missiles here, but if I can save whole damage for using a missile, I'm going to. Um, what's going on over there? Yeah, there we go. So waiting for the repair to fire our laser here uh, makes it so we don't get hit with another one. Seems good. Guys might try to run from us. I hope not. Triple miss. Um, I'm going to eat one more missile here. Nice double reward. That was huge right there. 40 scrap feels nice. Go investigate. Uh, I gotta leave the madman to his ravings here. This is only a 25% chance to lose a crew, but it's only a 25% chance to gain a crew. And losing a crew right now is pretty bad. Hmm. Does the store have any value right now at 40 scrap? Only long range scanners. I'm gonna say no. We're just gonna continue uh, gaining scrap here. Nice, a ship that can't hit us. Sure, some uh, outpost events can have a run on them. Usually not, though. Da -da -da -da. 
Hey, Game Tom Game, thanks for that very generous 200 bits, man. So glad you're enjoying the content enough to even consider that. Appreciate you. Enemy FTL charging. Nice, 18 scrap, feels good. All right, well, I guess there's another store, so we'll take it. Otherwise, we're just going to have a dead jump here. Could be long-range scanners. Could be Flak 1. Um, I'm going to say selling the Artemis for Flak 1 is fine here. We will have to spend our next... 35 scrap on weapon power, but after that we got six projectiles. It's pretty good. It's not what I was expecting to buy, but here we are. Hey, Rabbit Hoff, thanks for 10 awesome months and starting a streak anew. Much appreciation. Zoltan Control Sector 2 is not bad. Might actually get more jumps in the Zoltan Control here than the Nebula. Do get extra jumps a little bit for going to the Nebula, but Zoltan Controlled Sector 2 is going to have Nebulas in it as well. We also shred Zoltan Shields pretty good. I think either option's fine here. Thinking over the events right now in each sector would be best. If we get a lot of ship fights in the Uncharted Nebula, it'll be better, but... Overall, I think just getting a weapon online right now is fine. I also think the ships right now is not going to do very well in an Ion Storm if we have this weapon set up. So let's go Zolda Control. If we're losing half of our power, having a functioning offense is going to be pretty difficult. There's those nebulas I alluded to. Does this connect to the exit? It does. Okay. Well, we'll come up here, take these nebulas, swing down, and then swing back through here. Looks good, man. Oh, we can even hit the exit from over there. Neat. All right, 35 scrap when we have it goes directly into our weapons. Nada. Nada. Hey, a ship that can damage us. How nice. Yeah, I'd say a very comparable amount of jumps here. Zoltan-controlled uh, sectors very often have um, a string of nebulas inside of them, which are 50% fleet pursuit instead of the 70 they would be in the nebula sector. Hey, all God, thanks for 19 months, man. One more for that big 2-0. Thank you. Three missiles for three drone parts, sure. All right, there's another store. Okay, let's just count this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten jumps before this. How many have before this one? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we leave one jump behind doing that. 
So, if we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, exit. That's it. So, we're going to go one, two, three, four at this door, or we could even go four here if we wanted. We don't technically need a store right now. We need the weapon power and ship power. So maybe we actually skip a store on this sector. Either way, we're going to swing down this way to head back up here. And no doubt we're going to dive with six projectiles in sector two here. Yes. Cool. Ship can't hit us. That's nice. Let's see what we got going on here. How many humans? Three? Three humans. Boom, boom, boom. I don't believe seeing this door is even worth delaying getting our uh, other weapon online. Can't be. Oh, okay. Boom, boom, boom. What kind of crew we got? Okay, system repair and slugs. It's not a bad deal, but I'm going to say no. Give me scrap. Nice. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. <coughs> Excuse me, let's count this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exit. Yep. And hailed him. Alrighty. As you hail the refugee ship, a Zoldan ship suddenly jumps into the system. It claims to be the refugees are criminals and accuses you of escorting fugitives. Before you can respond, it cuts communications and powers its weapons. No fires. All right, refugees, what do you got? Nice double reward, beautiful. All right, Manti in the house. Okay, this ship does have three lasers, so it could technically hit us. 
Looks like it's gonna try to here. Yep. We got him, though. You arrive at a Zoltan security checkpoint set up in a perimeter around the beacon. Traveling vessel, you will submit to crew profiling and identify fugitives of the Empire. I don't have time for this nonsense. Okay, didn't hit weapons good. Seven he's grasping an extremely lucrative sector. Skipping this doors has turned out to be pretty good. Check it out. Yeah, detonate some explosives, man. Hidden cavern. Oh, bummer. I think long range scanners or sensors give us a chance. That was a coin flip. All right, another uh, another flak here. It's a four projectile enemy ship. Uh, no, you can't kick bummy. You'd need either a defense scrambler or a second missile launcher. One to distract the defense drone. This feels good, man. Participate in their study. All right. Stiff dough and scrap, they said. Mm -hmm. Vulcan without uh, some help will have a hard time killing the boss as well. Intruders on board. Whoa, triple Zolt and scary. We're going to uh, we're gonna vent these guys to the med bay. Close this off too. Actually, two guys should be fine. I close the doors again. I think we do want some dodge. Okay, O2 being on fire there is not good, but uh, I guess we can't get our O2 back in the ship now. But we're going to be fine here. It's going to be sketchy. Okay, once they're full healed, we can go repair that O2. Do need to do this rather quickly, though. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh. Ooh, not good. 
Well, I mismanaged my crew a little bit there, just by about a quarter of a second. Also could have waited there to buy level 2 uh, medbay. I think I'll leave him on weapons for right now. So he had 25 HP when I started running back, so we needed 30 HP on this ship to get back to the med bay. It's fair. I'm gonna wait for my O2 to stabilize before we take on this dive. I guess he needs to roll over here um, for the dive. We could get four engines right now. Maybe that's what I should do. Yeah, I'm going to do four engines right now. This way we can stay on weapons and still make it out before the second ASB. Okay, this ship's pretty straightforward. If we can do two damage to it, we're in a good spot. No teleporter either. Nice. Ooh, not quite. Nice. Okay, that hitting our piloting is not good. Okay, their weapons are down now so we can drop this. I think we can get this repaired in time. I'm gonna open the doors here as well so this vent, uh, or this breach reduces the O2 slower. Okay, we'll still make it out in time. Hey, it missed. Nice. We'll go NG controlled here. We don't have an NG for the blue options, but uh, NGs have more stores we could use to buy some fuel and other stuff right now. As far as where we're at in the build, we're doing really good. Got six projectiles, four engines, and two shields entering sector three. Okay, there's one store which we're not going to get. Okay, two. Let's head over this way. I'm going to avoid the distress beacon for now. Right, it's a pretty big missile launcher. We should have it, though. That's not a bad offer if we were using missiles still. Okay, there's another store. How many jumps can we get before this thing? Four? Probably gonna go for maximum on that. 
Because now we do want to store for fuel and possibly hacking or something like that. Maybe, just maybe. Nice. They didn't dodge a single projectile yet. Mm, nah. Okay, three lasers and a mini beam. I'm actually going to roll over to shields here, because I think that shores up the timing between these two things, or these three things. And our first volley should be it. Yep. Shield was right there. Two more, and then a store. Almost a hacking range here, and we have 17 parts right now? Dang. Intruders on board. Okay, this ship should be fine. We're just going to vent him to the med bay again. This time I'm going to keep the O2 on, though. Okay. Oh, they're boarding us three. Interesting. Gonna close and open right away as soon as they enter. Uh, we didn't go distress here because I have almost none of the tools to successfully do uh, distress beacons. Again, the O2. Okay, we're at 19% right now. It's not good. I'm gonna go get on this repair right now before the O2 completely diminishes because with two crew, um, I think we can barely finish that repair, but it has to be pixel perfect. And as we just saw, we are not perfect. 30 HP is the amount. There we go. Could have easily lost another crew there. Defense drone mark two sells very well. Waiting for my O2 to stabilize here before we jump. To the store. Got more scrap than I thought we were going to have here. Okay, there's hacking. Good. Let's buy hacking here. Um, backup battery is looking pretty keen as well. Do I have anything to sell? We got the defense 2 to sell. 
Okay, let's sell defense too. We'll buy a backup battery for that cost. Gonna buy uh, fuel up to 15 here. We're gonna buy a repair to 23. Nice. Jumps better, I think. A uh, couple reasons, JJ. The reason you don't full repair an FTL is there are a multitude of events that will heal your ship for you. Uh, sometimes upwards of 15. Hull repair. And we could have another store this sector, and if not this sector, next sector. So uh, we got what we wanted, and we're going to get out instead of spending more. Oh, double missile launcher. Um, okay, I think this might actually be a weapon hack. Yeah, I'm going to say yeah on that. This will let us fire our volley before they fire their volley. Which hopefully will disable both these missile launchers. Nice. Twenty-two, twenty-three is kind of the magic number for me on repairs. Enemy FTL charging. Not quite. We collected so many uh, drone parts at the start of this run, we can really use a hacking part on pretty much every ship, which is super helpful. Yeah, there's that other store. Do I want to take that or just get more scrap right now? I think probably just more scrap right now is fine. Uh, long range scanners would be the only thing we'd be able to buy at the store right now. So I'm just going to take the, the scrap gains here. Or potential scrap gains. Hey, Frank Inverter, thanks for three wonderful months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thank you. Really no need for um, hacking here. FTL charging don't okay I guess I'll use that hacking part now five fuel four missiles 14 scrap that's a pretty good deal five fuel is worth another 15 scrap so essentially a 29 scrap offer I'll take that. Probably should have just led with the hacking part. In hindsight, secure the cache, system repair drone, nice. Huge gains. Attack him before he can attack. Attacking the attacker. Attacking. Nice. 
We go engine hack here. Uh, this is either fire bomb or ion bomb. Hmm. I, I don't think their weapons time out in a way that can hurt us, but just in case that's an ion bomb and hit shields, let's do this. Wow. Uh, Anti-ship fire drone sells for 30? 27? Either way, a very high scrap offer here. Accepted. Okay, Zoltan Control. There is Zoltan Control. Let's take the one that has the green bean at the end. Hey, Phil versus Game. Thanks for 19 months and a five streak, man. Hope you're doing well. Okay, uh... Well, if we hit the store right now, we got a pretty decent amount of scrap, but I'd like a little bit more before we get there. Do I want to buy level 2 piloting for these nebulas? I probably should, because we get the manually search the wreckage event. I cannot risk losing a crew. Yeah, I'm gonna buy this right here. It's not the purchase I want to make, but it's correct. Whoa. Okay, well, we're going to be doing a pilot hack here and a weapon slam. The engine hack was better, but here we are. Okay, that's not good because the halberd's going to go off and do one damage across. Okay, didn't hit our weapons. That is very fortunate. Piling and engine hack are functionally the same. They both remove evasion to zero. The big difference uh, between them, though, is that if the enemy ship tries to run away, if you've locked them in their own piloting room, the whole time they're trying to break down the door, they're still charging their FTL. Which makes, in most cases... Um, Engine hack is better for that reason. Four fuel, one drone part, 17 scrap. That is not bad. I'm just going to take that. We're going to need to buy this fuel anyway, so if we add the cost of the fuel into the reward, we're getting a high scrap reward here. Deal. Look at these legends. Narashu, thanks for 34 months. Much appreciation. And Greg and Balto, thanks for 32. Sneaking on up on that 36 indeed. And if X, then Y, thanks for 60 months. That is five years. Thank you. Uh, let's secure the fuel supply. Okay, this is going to be a little awkward. Step one here, we're going to load up our backup battery into shields. Okay, after that hits, I'm going to go over here. Going to hack engines. That'll do. Okay, now we can load up O2 for a minute. Honey, Rai Rai, thanks for 43 months, almost four years. What a bonanza. Just thank you all again for the wonderful opportunity to be here and entertain. I was very grateful for it. Enemy FTL charging, come on now. So they're going to cloak here. Um, when they come out of cloak, we're going to hack and finish them off with our volley. Jump imminent. 
Um. Oh, man, they barely got away. Fair enough. I don't think I could have played that uh, much better. No double fleet pursuit, no real loss. Okay, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and then over. Okay, another store up here. Good to know. Okay, that was really scary. 25% chance to lose a crew there. In fact, I really shouldn't have done that. But I did. One, two, three, four. Then we're over here. Sounds good. Yeah, I don't really view that ship as getting away as unfortunate. It's just part of playing the game. Most runs feature a ship that gets away from you or almost gets away from you. Not really out of the ordinary in any way. Okay, maybe we do have to hack here. Can also just wait till we hit one of these drones. We're not in any um, actual danger. Nice, got two lasers in there. Buttes. That's what you need. Hey, Ordinary, thanks for that great 28. Glad the stream continues to be chill for you. Thank you. Nice. Got fire started in the shields here, too. Drone control, defense drones, okay. Um, mind control's all right too if we had better sensors. Do have that second store upcoming. Uh, sell the heal bomb, the system repair, and the fire drone. Buy three fuel, two repairs. And honestly, three shields right now doesn't look too bad. How many jumps do we have? One, two, three, four, five before the store. I'm going to hold off on upgrading my ship, though. If this store isn't great, buying three shields is perfectly fine here. Buying a weapon power would be even better, though. Okay, uh, this is actually a bit of a problem. Halberd Beam is probably going to hit on that first pass. Please hit. Thank you. Once we get their weapons here, though, we're in a good spot. Okay. So is still fine. We only have to do one damage to weapons here for it to disable their ability to damage us. Uh, unless that happens. I'm going to drop my shields here and bring them back online. Hmm. 
Nice. Hey, Epop, thanks for 18 months. Appreciate that year and a half, partner. Thank you. It's not bad. Not bad at all. I'm going to take this offer. That five fuel is again worth 15 scraps, so pretty, pretty great. This has been a run for deals. That's right, then, Lee Sliced Ham. By dropping the shields, we the only place the ion could hit to then disable the shields is this shield. But if the shield bubbles up and it hits, whether regardless of what system it's aiming at, it will take down a shield bubble. The ship can't really hit us. Like on the fourth or fifth cycle of the weapons, it would. Uh, taking deals shouldn't really affect the score at all, Harmless Penguin. It's all about how much scrap you collect, and that still counts towards your scrap collection. Without knowing what you get for killing the ship, it's hard to say one way or another. Generally speaking, um, you get a little bit less scrap for taking rewards, but not always. It's also scrap we don't have to spend on fuel, which is good. One, two, store. Okay, weapon hack isn't great. Hopefully this doesn't hit weapons here. Okay, that's fine. Only two fire in there, also very helpful. Nice, missile launcher went down, perfect. Perfect. Yes, taking a deal is defeating a ship. I think that'll work out better. We should get one more volley here before their hack is up. Or not. Should have just waited. That should do it. Twenty seven scrap a doodle. Two more jumps for this store here. I really should probably have spent some of this scrap already, but I'm pipe dreaming about um the cloaking, a new weapon. Etc. New weapon here would be really good. <laughs> 
participate in their study again. Okay, they're on the sensors, which is tough. Um, if we hack engines here, we can disable the halberd before it fires. So I'm going to go here. We're going to vent them into the med bay. Oh, no. That's not good. Okay, we may be forced to buy level 2 uh, hack here. Let's see, 10% chance not to get hit by the halberd. Okay, I'm going to open back up now. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. It's okay, our uh, first volley here is still going to disable that. What? Why did they move? wait here. Okay, mm. that was good. Good toggle there. Okay, we can't we can't toggle here. It's not gonna work. Nice. Interesting. I'm gonna wait for the next hack now. That was a very interesting event. 30 and anti personnel drone. Nice. Okay, there's that cloaking we wanted. Definitely gonna buy cloaking here. We're gonna buy a small repair. One more. And then I'm gonna buy... Three shields is probably the right choice. No, let's see uh, See what at our exit here. Um, cloaking does make two shields a lot safer, and if we can get a third weapon loaded in, we can definitely delay three shields. I will gladly sell 15 missiles for 45 scrap. That's huge. NG Homeworlds or Zoltan Homeworlds? I think we go Zoltan Homeworlds for a chance at the Zoltan Homeworld quest, but... I don't know. NG Homeworlds has more stores. I think actually we need to go NG Homeworlds here because our desire to get uh, a weapon is higher than even our desire to get a crew. Yeah, it's got to be NG Homeworlds. Chance at Zoltan Shield or Envoy is awesome, but uh, seeing a store right now to actually escalate our build is, is what we need. Okay, I'm going to buy two power bars here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to buy two hacking as well. All right. Let's 
go find our stores. No. There's one. Okay, let's get a few jumps before this store here. And then we'll head on in. One, two... Yeah, all right. One, two. Phoenix CSR, thanks for 29 months. Dang. It's one more for that big three zero, Phoenix. Thank you, man. Any event that takes Hull away from you can't end your run. Yes, many cookies. Oh, okay. Seems good. I'll go one, two, three, maybe four here. No. One, two, three, four, and then down this way. Oh, interesting. Well, it's not a weapon here. Hull repair could be cool with the drone control. We can't quite afford that. Gonna level with you guys conversations that are about how things in the game wouldn't technically work in real life terms are generally annoying to me. Especially if they're brought up a lot. Oh man, no weapon here. Reloader's a temptation. Probably just want to save here though, or just buy my three shields. Six projectiles is okay with cloaking. All right, I'm gonna buy a small repair here. I'm gonna buy one fuel, and I'm just gonna buy three shields. We'll consider additional crew here in a sector or two if we don't find any. Just had uh, some unfortunate luck not getting any crew yet. We also lost one crew due to uh, human error. That's me. Hey, the civilian ship. Okay, well then, it's gonna be an engine hack. It's a lot of laser beams, friend. Trying to wait till the last possible moment here. Okay, that's firing now, so now we cloak. Now we go down here. Should have fired a little bit sooner here, but you know, all's well that ends well. Okay, cloaking's down now, that's fine. Okay, how much HP? 33, that is good. Let's prop this now. Wonder if that's fire in there, and that's why the NG's trying to get out. Okay, good, missile launcher's down now. Uh, small bomb does enough crew damage that it could hurt us. So we want to 
try to get that down here. Okay. Nice. Okay, let's get this heal back up. Staunch was at the HP amount that he could have died to a uh, small bomb hitting him. Oh, there's a guy on my ship punching me. Gotcha. Who needs systems? Okay, let's repair the O2 here. Crazy event, man. At least it was only a Lato missile. Yikes. Civilian ship, what do you got? More than enough scrap to make up for that whole damage is what you got. Nice, there's our third store. <laughs> Combat drone mark one. That's enough to sell to buy any weapon here. Perfect. Come on, weapon. Hey, it's weapons. Um, what's actually best here is a good question. Uh, halberd beam, if we can get it online, is probably uh, very nice. It would only require one weapon power to get on with the burst laser too. Then shield hack, halberd beam, burst laser is is good. It's also good enough to win the game. Um, immediately, burst laser one probably helps out the most. But I think Halberd Beam is probably best for winning the run. Pike, we can slide into the system right now, but it doesn't do enough pinpoint damage, I think. How much for the weapon power online? Only 50, so we can get Halberd Beam and get it online right now. Okay. I think that'll do. Obviously a bit shy on power here, but I think this is still right. Okay, I'm going to do a small repair here and buy three fuel, and then our next bit of scrap will go into bringing the halberd into the... here, and then all we got to do is buy some power. First laser two halberd beam is very efficient indeed. Okay, man, I mean, there's so many distresses in NG Homeworlds, we just can't do a lot. Cool, man. Alright, well, cloaking will be great here, and we can just do level 1 hack on engines to disable the weapons properly. One volley on our weapons here will do it. This weapon system, however, is really crazy by them. It's a lot of laser beams, and they're heavy, too. Okay, that pulled them out of uh, repairing the weapons there. What's it look like? Fires? No fires. Could have been worse. Him leaving the room tells you there's a fire in that room, 
Uh, no. Thirty-seven scrap. That'll do it. I'm just gonna get the halberd beam in here right now. So now we have uh, burst laser two halberd beam is a possibility with a shield hack that is quite slamming. One of the great parts about a halberd burst laser is if you hack the shield, you can drag the halberd beam through the piloting to almost certainly disable it, and that guarantees that your burst laser two hits. Slam it up. Um, nope. Mantis Homeworlds or Rebel Stronghold? Hmm. I gotta say, the Rebel Stronghold event looks pretty tempting. Also, Mantis Homeworlds with only two crew is uh, a problem waiting to happen. I think we're now at the point where we'll probably uh, be interested in purchasing a crew or two. Direct upgrade to getting the flak online with the halberd beam. Uh, once the once the flak's online too, so another 165 plus power, and we have engines, then we're free to buy crew and other stuff. Two crew versus manis is possible, but there's also some situations where it's very bad for us. Hey, Lord Pooley, thanks for making it official with Twitch Prime. Much appreciation. All right, before we head into Sector 6 here, just going to stand up, stretch my legs, use the restroom real quick, grab some water, encourage you to do the same. Be back in a few short minutes here to continue the fun. Heading into Sector 6, Rebel Strong will have a chance at the mini flagship event here. Uh, we have to find the right beacon uh, to hit it on, so it'll be a little bit up to luck uh, as far as that goes. But feeling okay about this run, either we're going to stabilize here or we're going to have a really rough time with our only two crew. We'll find out here in just a minute. Be right back. Alrighty, we have returned. Thanks for your patience during that brief intermission. Let's head into the Rebel Stronghold here and see what happens.
Okay, we need our weapon power. We need like four power bars as well. I think just buying power bars here shortly is going to be a good call. Intruders on board. Okay, they're in the cloaking. We're just going to vent these guys right to the med bay like we did last time. Okay, there's a guy in piloting too, but he's going to suffocate before he can finish that off. Going to leave the doors open here. Hey, hard care. Thanks for 30 wonderful months. Enjoy that lurk. Thank you. Pretty good dive opportunity here, too. Nice. All right, definitely going to wait for O2 to stabilize before we jump away. Okay, this ship can damage us, but not easily. In fact, do I even want to use a hacking part here? Um, yeah, we got 18 parts. We should. I'm going to cloak this first volley. And shield hack. All right, so here we can go like this through weapons, through engines, and as soon as this fires and goes through the piloting, it's disabled, so we can now fire into the cloaking. Legit. 44 scrap, noise. I'm just gonna buy the power bars right now because we know we need those. Not even a question. Hey, the civilian ship. Alright, we got, got a cloak for this. This is also another uh, shield hack. On this one, we're going to damage weapons with the burst laser. This has uh, two, two power consumption on the ion charger. Four power consumption on the burst laser. So if we can do three or more damage, it takes this weapon down, which is what we want. Okay, now we hack and cloak. Yeah, Rebel Stronghold is Rebel Homeworlds, basically. That is correct. I'm gonna go up through this way this time. Okay, piloting's down, so this is efficient. Nice. Hey, civvies. Oh, why'd you run away? I wanted rewards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven before the exit. I actually skipped the exit on this one, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine before this jump. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many we do want to hit the exit on this? Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, 
yeah, it doesn't quite work out this way. We do have to hit the exit from this back side if we're going to do it right. Can't go here, 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 and then here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven jumps before the exit is about to be overtaken. We can go one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, dive. I'm actually going to head down here for more jump possibilities. This one reveals all of the other options. Hey, that civilian ship, baby. All the automated scouts. All of them. Very similar situation to the uh, the last fight here. This time, no cloaking to wait for, though. We're going to hack the shields and uh, drag it through this way and disable this before it fires. Hey, Stanley. Glad you're enjoying uh, the content, man. Thanks for tuning in. Dude, it's so hard to believe we're going into our fifth annual Fragmas winter this December. Mm. What a time to be alive. And I have 31 streams in the month of December for the fifth year now. It's been a wonderful way to carry on the tradition of the two-year livestream challenge. Just thank you all for sharing this time and place. 20 and 20. I'll take that. Okay. Is a store right now going to have anything that we really want to buy? I don't think so. What we want to buy right now is this weapon power and upgrades for the ship. Again, though, we have the option of not taking the exit and just stringing down here. Let's count this out one more time. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, we could buy a crew, but I don't think that's worth delaying our weapon for. I mean, I know we're getting pretty dire on the crew situation, but... Buying a crew I don't think is worth um, delaying weapons. Also, three hacking, we run into a four shield ship, we're going to have a problem. Without three hacking. I think maybe maximizing our scrap gains here to try to stabilize the build uh, as is, is better. I'm trying to think, what else could live at this store that would be so great for us? Wouldn't be the first time, Freak the King. Crew is not really a requirement to win, but it does help. If we went one, two, three, four, store, five, six, seven, eight. That's actually correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's that's what we're gonna do. More than two crews, definitely preferable. And if we don't get any more crew, mind control will probably be in a requirement to uh, get a victory here.
Uh, thinly sliced ham, there are no nebulas left in this sector. Okay, we're gonna cloak this one. Or maybe this, we'll see. Yeah, we're gonna cloak that. Ooh, I think I might have hacked too early here. It's not great. I did. Okay, still got there. Didn't actually hack too early, but almost hacked too early. Boy, oh boy. Yes. You arrive at the mini at the beacon to find yourself in a huge rebel shipyard, scaffolding and construction drones filling the sector. The entire system looks devoted to ship construction. The nearby planets and moons ruthlessly mine to harvest resources for a ship of immense size. Let's look around, man. Okay. We're getting boarded here, which is tough. Oh, we got boarded right in piloting, too. That is even tougher. It's okay. I'm going to cloak this first missile volley here. I'm going to uh, drag this across here. I'm going to fire in this. Okay. They no longer have a missile launcher, which is their only way to really damage us. So now we're going to vent them into the med bay. And our next volley will kill. That's it. Nice. Boom. Ooh. While the second flagship was not yet finished, it doesn't make the battle any less of a victory. And you've crippled the rebel fleet's strength considerably. While you don't overstay your welcome, you quickly salvage choice bits of metal drones and even an unusual object or two from the wreckage and prepare to jump. Nice, man. As you are leaving, you detect an interesting Federation ship signal. Apparently, the Rebels were reverse engineering the advanced weaponry on a prototype Federation cruiser. You don't know how they captured the ship intact, but you program this FTL drive to return the ship to the nearest Federation base. You just hope it gets there unharmed. Yes, we had more jumps in this sector now, too. Fleet delayed by two. So... Yeah, I think we still take the same pathing here. Um, actually, uh, let's think about this. This might be the time to avoid this storm if we're going to do that. Or... Um, not sure with two more jumps getting added in, how we're going to fit those in or not. Just buying weapon power here is fine too now, because we can have six lasers halberd beam or six projectiles halberd beam, or we can have nine projectiles hacking. Oh man. Five. 
six, seven, eight, nine. Um, this is tough. I think that'll work. I'm still going to take the same path I was before. I'm trying to justify not taking this store, but I, I can't. I, we have to do that. I have a lot of very relevant upgrades I'd like to buy, but I need to see that store and possibly buy a third crew. I think mind control or a third crew is both fine, but I'm not getting out of this without buying one of those. This one looks okay to do flak burst laser, but I'm going to do a uh, piloting hack here because one halberd beam will destroy this quite nice. I actually meant to go shield hack there. Whoops. This will work. Ding! Yeah, that's what I was worried about and why I wanted to do the halberd. Uh, no, I'm not going to take that surrender. It's amazing how taste buds can change over time, huh, Ancient Art Demon? Hey, the Commodore, thanks for 35 months and Prime as well a few minutes ago. Sorry for not seeing you sooner there. And Kitsuna, thanks for 26 biggins. Much appreciation. Glad you're still enjoying the content after all this time. Thank you. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we still have this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not quite. We're minus one jump for this path, but it's fine. We got one of the two delays. Okay, there's mind control and crew here and flak. Whoa! This is a tricky situation. Um, with the two three power weapons, we can't have three two power weapons and a three power weapon on lying sets max. Now, <laughs> what I can do is do double flak burst laser two for nine projectiles for six power. That's pretty efficient. Gives us a five damage first volley on the shields if we decide to hack uh, piloting. It's also much cheaper to get to 6 weapon power at 9 projectiles than it is to keep the halberd online. That also makes level 1 hacking okay versus 4 shield ships. Okay, I think we're actually going to buy the flak and sell off the whole laser halberd beam here. Um, this isn't what I want to do, but with needing to buy a crew and a cheaper weapon upgrade, uh, it saves us scrap 90 for having to upgrade to get the halberd flak online. Um, it makes level 1 hacking a lot better, so we don't have to grab this upgrade right now. I'm thinking we sell off halberd, a whole laser... Buy the flak, buy a crew, and buy mind control.
I think NG is the one to take here as well. What crew training does this guy have? Fighting, all right. Oh, he's got weapon training, interesting. Not too keen on the Zoltan buy here. Uh, the main weakness of having low crew is you have less HP to work with, and the Zoltan only has 70 HP. Yes, it does provide an extra power bar for us, so it's technically cheaper, but um, it's not giving us what we need right now, which is HP to work with. Also, he's going to do a pretty poor job of repairing fires and breaches, where the NG uh, excels at that. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to sell the halberd, we're going to sell the whole laser, we're going to buy the flak, we're going to buy mind control, yes. We're going to buy engineer, and then we're going to buy our weapon power. There you go. Uh, yes, Melee Gnome, beam weapons are some of the most powerful late-game weapons in the game. And if we weren't behind on scrap uh, and overall upgrades right now, we would have bought, kept the halberd beam. Hmm. Try to be a hero, attack the pirates. Well, I don't even need to hack your meat. Honestly, kind of tempting to go in here for the mind control. Let's do it. Nice. Actually, with mind control here, there might be uh, some fashion of a crew kill we can get. I don't see why not. Chelsea, yeah, 45 perfect. That'll keep him in place. Got him. Oh, we're going to destroy the ship and salvage it here because uh, delaying the fleet further doesn't actually help us. So look at you. Look at that. Another store here right at the end. Nice. Kind of debating if I even want to go for the dive now. It is two extra jumps, so probably. One, two, three, four. Um, I'm going to accept your proposal here. Flea Pursuit doubled for a jump. Boo. Really wanted that crew, of course. Okay, on this one, we'll go for a pilot hack.
Nice. Um, I will go ahead and boost up and cloak on that one. I am also going to mind control the guy that is currently in this room. Nope. You doubled my fleet pursuit. I don't think so. Ka chunk a chunk. 48 scraps, nice. Okay, so uh, we lost one jump here, but we're fully committed to our dive now, and I do want to see that store. Oh, hey, Starger needs a new name. And that is Mortomni. Okay, uh, they gave me drone parts for delivery in the next sector. Cool. It's a good reward. That's all good and well. Gonna buy three repairs here, then I'm gonna purchase uh, two power bars. And level two backup battery. Okay, I overshot my power once there. Fair enough. Okay, I'm going to go shield hack here and then mind control the pilot. Seems good. Well, I should have started my hack right away there. That's fair. Oh, we can't see the sensors now for the mind control. That's all right. Should still be fine. Very fine. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, ASB missed. Best case scenario. I'm just going to get out of here now. Uh, abandon Sector 7 or Slug Control. I'd rather have Slug Controlled right now. Okay, we're going to run back to the med bay here. And cut the O2. Uh, generally speaking, cake door upgrades are not necessary in FTL, uh, even with low crew. They can be helpful for some very select situations, but with good game knowledge, uh, that's it. But frankly, on this run, there is no way I could have justified uh, spending 35 scrap on level 2 doors with the uh, events that we've had. Doors is a very hard hard purchase to justify when you need to buy things like weapons and subsystems. Uh, we desperately need engines right now as well. This quest could be really good. One thing I do want to buy in this sector is level two uh, level two oxygen. We're gonna have him on engines now. Inside these nebulas, we can't even use the sensors. 
Now, it's not to say that level two doors is bad. Uh, it's just, again, very hard to justify um, in hard mode when you need to buy other things. For the purpose of defending against borders that aren't Lanius, which is why we didn't go the abandoned sector, three crew and a three slot med bay, you can always vent and run into the med bay. That's kind of your worst case scenario. That only gets really bad if you're getting boarded and the enemy ship has a superior weapon system. Uh, then it gets crazy. I'll get closer. What's wrong? Uh, demand the rock pay the agreed upon price. Good. Yikes, dude. This is a, a biggie boy. Double rock boarding? Get him out. This is not good. Okay, you guys go in here. I do need to be on my piloting. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna move one guy out here, and then I'm gonna mind control. There we go. No, tank him. He's repairing my sensors for me. What a gentleman. Well, they left that guy on board here? Oh, man. Where's he at? Shield room? Okay. Um, I can fire again here. I'm just going to wait for the cloak, though. Teleporting goes back up here. They should teleport one back. Or they're both going to be on board. That's fine, too. Contact the slugs. Upgrade a reactor by one. Thanks. Okay, we've got 64, 70. Staunch is slightly ahead on this. I think old man yells at Cloud at that point, if I went in the sensors to repair, that that rock might have moved back to defend. When enemy enemies mind control try to repair, it's some very funky AI that I don't fully understand yet. Man, reactor upgrade was good there. Okay. Next. Oh yeah, I should buy level 2, uh, O2 right now. Okay, worrying radiation coming from your medical unit, indeed. Um... Man, they have mind control as well, and they're boarding. Yikes. Well, we can counter mind control. I need my hacking here as well, so we're going to have to uh, make do. We're just going to continue here. Um, I'm going to counter mind control right away. Our intruders are currently in the doors. Is that it? Just the two? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I'm gonna cloak here so we get our shields back up for the um, for that there. Thirty, twenty-two, forty-five. Uh, I may have to sacrifice doors here. Mm, no, we're ahead enough on that, I think. Okay, good. That's down now, good. Nice. If we didn't have a third crew there, we would have had to sacrifice a few systems on board. But we did. Okay, 60 scrap, excellent. Yeah, I don't know if I'm getting the O2 upgrade here. I want to. Attack! Oh, no worries, Free the King. That was a very tense situation. I, I would have very much uh, liked to have the counter hack there. Okay, we cannot... Um... <sighs> Cheesy rice. How are we going to do this? Okay, I'm going to cloak right now while they're punching this down, or trying to, and then we're going to counterboard. So, uh, by doing it this way, we get to fire our volley before they do, because they don't get to charge their weapons while we're underneath cloak. So it's the only way to shore up this timing so we don't take an extremely aggressive first volley. Which else? 37, 25, 47, 39. Okay, let's move these guys around. Hey, they teleported back. Good for them. Nope, that's a terrible deal. Timer on Heavy Laser 2 is uh, 13 seconds, so it synergizes very well with Burst Laser 1, um, Basic Laser, and Burst Laser 2 on enemy ships. Burst Laser 2 Heavy Laser is one of the most uh, potent setups the enemy ship can have. Okay. Well, as the saying goes, it's never too late for long-range scanners, and I think that is very true here. Let us get the most out of the rest of this sector, which is exactly what we need. The most. Oh, man.
I think buying a Zoltan here is correct. And then we have to invest everything else and the rest of the run into our ship. It's going to be a bumpy flagship. Yeah, we basically get this guy for 30 right now. Um, yeah, I'm going to do it. I don't like this, but this is where this run is at. LNS. Do do do. Don't need fuel, don't need repairs. Okay. Ooh, dog. You know what would be really cool is we ran into a super weak uh, training ship here in Sector 7. I really doubt that'll happen, but there you are. Weapons up. Okay, we're getting boarded by Mantis here. If we hack piloting, do we get the weapons down fully? Yes, we do. We have nine projectiles versus their three shields, so that is six damage. More than the four here, that will disable both. Yeah, Pisky, it's like an Artemis missile right here. Any floating missile would be really nice. I like that idea a lot. Hey, double Manus boarding team. Okay, we're going to retreat to the med bay here and the mind control room. Actually, you know what? Let's mind control right here, and then I'll just leave the room once. Not really that much of a retreat needed. Ooh, I dropped a shield there. Yikes. Oh, they just left him hanging. Oh, boy. That is tough. Oh, they boarded with the NG? Oh, man. Oh, our Zoltan just pulled power out of our weapons. Son of a guns. There's no way. Chunk a chunk. store here. Do we actually want another store or need it? This is not going to hurt anything. We can get three jumps here before the store. Can we get three jumps there? Now we go one, two, three, down quest. Really was seeing no uh, extra ship jumps here. A little tempting to head down this way, but let's go ahead and do it. Empty doesn't mean there's nothing there with long range scanner. It just means you can't see it. Hail them. Might as well hack here. There's no reason not to. Also, no boarding. How nice for us. The clone bay is functionally better than the med bay, yes. Clone bay allows you to take more distress beacon events where you risk crew. But, um, really, med bay is nicer for keeping your crew trained. So they both have their advantages and disadvantages. 
For your ability to take events, especially in the early game, though, uh, Clone Bay is far superior. Wow. That's what I gotta say to that. Wow. Thanks for that flat gun mark one and a double reward. Must be my birth miss. Well, I mean... If this is wrong, I don't want to be right. So I'm just going to be wrong here for a minute. We're going to get 12 projectiles now. Yeah, we're doing that right before we go to the store, but um, 12 projectiles, guys. 12. 12 of them. Okay, they say we're going to suffocate here, but we know they're not going to suffocate us in time. There's, uh, there's no way. There's no way. Oh yeah, always happy to hear an idea, Pinky. If you got one, feel free to say it. We're always open to input. Next volley you'll do. Um, this fight's tempting, but if we take this and this, we're not going to reach our quest. This quest has potential to be a big reward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go store now. Well, yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, we're not buying Burst Laser 2 because uh, it doesn't give us an extra projectile. Uh, it does give us a little more pinpoint precision, but that is uh, marginal uh, at this point. And really what we need is upgrades to our ship. I think we're going to use piloting hack on the flagship fight. It's got to be. Yeah, fourth flag I may have considered, though. It would be a pretty poor idea for winning the run. Just waiting for my O2 here. Hopefully we have a nice lucrative um, Sector 8 as well. That would make a big difference. Hell, three or four good events in Sector 8 could give us four shields and stuff. Okay, you find the station and they respond to your hails immediately, saying it took you long enough. We have practically no use for these things now. I refuse to pay full price. Take this and leave the cargo in our holds. Let's power up the weapons. You make a good point. You traveled all the way here to fulfill our request, despite must have been a difficult scenario to cause such a delay. Here, we'll even tip you for the inconvenience you must have gone through. Nice. We get three jumps either way before the dive here. So I'm going to go one, two, three. What's your specialty? Piloting subsystem for 39. That is not on my radar right now.
Um, this should be fine. Yeah. Gotta do something before this glaive goes off. Okay, good miss there. I'm gonna cloak that. Cool. Feeling better already. Hey, Hellorian D, thanks so much for making it official with Twitch Prime. Glad you're enjoying the content enough to even consider. Thank you. Yeah, enemy FTL is charging there. That's fair. We can hack on our next volley and guarantee the kill, though. We will not accept surrender. So the general rule, you don't want to accept surrender from slugs. Sometimes they just give you a couple fuel. Sometimes they give you almost nothing or a very low scrap reward. The only time you really want to seek out surrender from slugs is in the slug homeworld if you have not unlocked the slug ship yet. Because that leads to an option where they give you information and then you get the slug homeworld uh, ship quest. Hey, Azkar, thanks for two awesome months. Glad you're enjoying the channel and community. Much appreciation. And I do believe I am remiss here. Dungeon Facts, thanks for making it official with Twitch Prime as well. Am I ever late to Orn Mystery Notification? Do apologize. Got a terrible case of humanitis myself. This is terrible. Thank you. Wah. Nice. That's right, only trust the slug when you are the slug. That is some wise words right there. Oh man, I got hit by that? Boo. Uh, Pekissi is great question. Uh, generally speaking, you want to hack engines over piloting, and the reason for that is uh, if the enemy ship is trying to run away from you, if you have hacked their piloting and they're trying to break out the door, their FTL still charges during that time. So like here, let's say this was a three cruise ship and we had damaged three systems. If the FTL was charging, they're trying to get away, but they can't get out of their own piloting room because we've hacked them in there. So almost always engine hack is better than piloting hack, but there are exceptions to that. Usually you want to hack piloting over engines if it would uh, disrupt crew movement more. Like there's a slug vessel that has all two square rooms, and in that case the piloting is in a very disadvan disadvantageous spot for the crew to be hacked. They can't get to the side rooms to repair because they had to break through the hack doors first. But as is 95 plus percent of the time, hacking engines is superior um, if the ship tries to run away from you, which you don't know until it happens. Okay, let's value out here. We're going to buy level 202, level 2 cloaking, level 2 mind control. Uh, I honestly think a value shield here might not be a terrible purchase. Level 2 sensors as well uh, might be good. I'm going to go level 2 sensors and a power bar, and then we'll hang out from there. The ship we're about to face uh, will not have an anti-ship battery facing us. Should be able to slam and jam this ship, no problem. Collapse on him. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just going to level 2 cloak right now so we can fire our volley first. I'm 100% sure we're safe after we fire. We can still do 8 damage there. There is not a Wilferno. Uh, there is never an anti-ship battery if the exit exists on a Nebula Beacon. Uh, another fun rule about exit beacons is that uh, exit beacons always provide... that are non-Nebulas always provide a good or neutral reward, where exits that are Nebula Beacons are always completely empty. So if your exit is on a Nebula and you're going to dive, you have no reason to actually go through the Nebula. So always empty and never ASB. Alright, this is looking pretty keen. Looks like we might have a pretty good shot at a repair station. And tell you what, before we head into Sector 8, the last stand here, I'm just going to take a very short break, stand up, stretch my legs, uh, take a short intermission, no ads or anything like that, only do one set of ads per show, and that's at the very end of the show. So thanks for your patience once again. Just going to take a short breather here, grab some more water, use the restroom, uh, and see what my cats are doing. Where are my cats today? Be back in uh, just a short moment. Thanks for your patience once again. We'll resume Sector 8 and go over the flagship fight here in just a minute. I think we got a pretty good shot at winning the flagship only because we have 12 projectiles. We're way behind on defense. Talk more about our strategy here in just a sec.
All right, everybody, we have returned. Thanks so much for your patience during that brief intermission once again. Let's talk about how the uh, flagship fight goes here in Sector 8. During our short break, Sidewinder, double zero ten. Thanks for 44 months. Only four more for four years. Thank you. Wowza. Okay, Sector 8. Uh, every jump we take, at least one beacon will be overtaken by the Rebels. That means there's an anti-ship battery here in a very difficult vessel. In addition to that, the flagship is trying to get to our base, but it takes two jumps for the flagship to get to each beacon. So this will be this line, then it'll move, be a line, then it'll move again. So we have this turn, two, three, four, five, six jumps till it's at the base. If the enemy flagship is at the base for three or more turns consecutively, you lose your run. I think I might go Ultra Greed here, though, and go for this fight. Um, yeah, let's go down this way. More fights, more better here if we get a repair station. Repair stations will heal us for 10 and give us a bunch of drone parts and missiles and stuff that we don't need right now. But scrap is exactly what we need. We can get to four shields and some decent power, round out our power a bit. Um... Increases our chance of winning by a lot. Let's take the scrap that is in front of us. All right, all right. They discovered our registration was fake. Dang it. Not sure we actually get this missile launcher down here. So... I'm going to go engine hack and then so we can disable repair. Ooh, that's an ion intruder drone incoming. Okay, med bay hacks, fine. That's fine-ish. Okay, so if that lands in weapons, that is a problem. Oh, yeah, leave the room. You're doing great, ion intruder drone. You're doing great. Go repair that. No, no, go back in there. Uh-oh. This is not great. Um, he did hear me. Yeah. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Very well. This is how we have to do it. I'm going to drop this power. I'm going to run in here. I am going to fire everything into the drones. Is that going towards weapons too? No. Oh, okay, good. Hacking. This hacking is still working here. Okay, now he's not going to ion out our weapons and we'll cloak under this. Okay, it missed. Perfect. Open the doors. Level 202. Okay, flak just fired. This is our cloaking opportunity. Whoa, it was a little late on that. Lucky. Also, well executed. Okay, um, I really want to take this repair for the heal, but if it doesn't, if this one gets overtaken next, that puts us in a really bad spot. I'm going to go down here and hope we get this repair. Prepare to fight the rebel ship, believe it. Okay, piloting hack here plus weapon slam disables the missile launcher most likely. Oh, get back to your stations though. That's fine. Okay, we're gonna go level 202. We're gonna open the doors to stop that from venting out. Okay, gonna go ahead and level two cloak here, not nah, level one. Ooh, that's not great. 
Um, let's mind control in here. Let's wait. Okay, Artemis missile, really uh, relevant if we get that repair now. Nice. Got him. 52 and four hull points repaired. Well, if we don't get the repair now, that'd be all right. But we did get the repair. Hey, Sinji, glad you could make it. Okay, nice. Doing great, Sinji. Thanks for asking. Not even sure four shields is correct here. Hmm. Let's take this next ship fight and see how much scrap we actually have. I like this ship. Weapons hack is not great for us. It's good. Yeah, look at that. We could actually train a little bit here. Not a lot, but a little bit. Don't really want to drop engines completely versus uh, Combat 2 drone. Our dodge training's already all the way there. Actually, no, it's not. Interesting. Okay, they're trying to repair there, but they can't yet. I'm going to hold off on this for a sec. Yeah, halfway. Okay, I'm gonna fire two here, and this. No. Double fire and weapons, perfect. This is an incredible opportunity late game. Combat 2 is uh, easily some of the fastest uh, training you can get. Gonna mind control the guy in here to keep that fire rolling too. Don't break that, please. I'm actually gonna run my Zoltan in and out here to uh, reduce the mind control time. Uh, to explain that further, by pulling, putting him in and out, it reduced the level of the mind control by one. Hey, Alfson. Thanks so much for that very generous gift. Much appreciation, dude. Thank you. Well, just like that, we just got full dodge training. Super lucky. 
Yeah, congratulations on that, Sinji. Great stuff. One more fight. Alpha Langstrom, thanks for 17 amazing months, man. Appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, dude. Um, I'm actually going to go for a shield hack here. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, it hit it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is it going to go through now? Oh, 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 defense drone. Got it. Um, change of plans. Okay, missile launcher went down. That's what we needed. The important part here is not to take damage versus the ship because we don't get any more repairs here. Let's make sure a power bar is what we want to buy, but it certainly seems that way. Oh, yeah. I think level two, oh, we already bought level two sensors. Lucky me. All right, this is it. We've made it all the way from jump one in FTL to the flagship fight in sector eight here. We do have a 12 projectile setup, which is certainly efficient. Doesn't mean we're gonna be great in the flagship here. We only have five engines. It's gonna be tricky. Got quite a few options on the flagship fight how we want to do this. We can hack piloting and then slam shields and disable piloting in the first volley. We can go all in on shields, which is probably what we'll do. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, secret user, your weapon has to be in the action of firing before you cloak not to lose the duration. As long as you cloak after the weapon starts firing, there's no loss in duration. I like the first laser on the burst laser one is the one that counts towards the cloak reduction. The rule of pinky. Thanks for four wonderful months. And thanks so much for that prime support. Thank you. Hey, I saw that extrusive. You're actually on the ship right now. Thank you very much for that uh, Patreon support. You've been our trusty pilot the entire run. Glad you're enjoying the YouTube content as well, and so glad you could make the live stream today. Thank you, man. Let's see what happens. Where we get hacked here uh, will determine if we have to run away from this fight or not. Shield hack is not ideal, but not the worst hack that can happen. We're going to save our mind control for disabling repairs. Only because we have 12 projectiles are we going to go for the um, pilot hack here instead of shield. You can dodge that, right? 
Okay, that's fine. Want to save my cloak for the missiles. It's actually kind of tempting to go for the uh, piloting hack right now, or even to hit cloaking. You know what? Cloaking actually makes sense here at the mind control. Because we can now d stop that repair from happening. And we'll get a second volley off here. We'll repair after this, but we're good. Okay, we got two crew kills there as well. Uh, I do fear he's going to get this back online before we can fire this next volley. I think I should wait. Let's fire two here. Either way, we got him. Okay, that's fine. That's what I was worried about. Ooh, this shield hack's looking nasty. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, you've been a good pilot for sure, no doubt about it. You're still alive. We did lose one of our starting crew on this run. Um, okay, now we're going to do the most important thing in FTL. We're going to wait for the enemy flag to be back at the base to fight Phase 2. It's important so we can jump into Phase 3, leaving ourselves the base the safe jump back. Whether you're a new, intermediate, or very advanced FTL player, waiting for the flagship to jump into you Phase 2 is the correct call. Hey, Sparrow.net, thanks for that generous gift in Rocklight 523. Welcome to the Dapper. Sparrow.net, thanks for nine months as well. Bonanza. Okay, boarding drone and the hacking isn't great, but after our first hack, we're pretty well set up. The safe jump is only guaranteed for phase three if you wait for them at the base. Otherwise, you could have all beacons overtaken very easily. Dead. All right, now we'll mind control the guy repairing shields. I'm going to go one, two, well, actually one, two, three here. Okay, as the missiles are almost at our ship, we are now going to cloak and stay cloak without firing weapons here. We want to make sure this goes fully under before we fire again. Also, it looks like we're going to kill off all of the crew here. This is beautiful. All except for the pilot, who... Legit. Since we killed off all of the enemy crew with our volleys, firebomb. There's not going to be a boarding element to Phase 3. This greatly simplifies the Phase 3 uh, with only having four crew. My biggest fear was getting boarded by six or more crew and having to reset uh, the fight. The whole reason we wait for them here is so we had the base to jump back to reset it if it goes wrong, though the chances of that happening are much less now. Hey, take it easy, extrusive. Glad you could stop by. Do, do, do. 33 scrap buys, no upgrades here. Enemy flagship will never board with our last crew. There might be some weird exception to that, but I don't think I've seen it. And we're off. Mm -hmm. 
They have a 10 power super shield to start this one. Okay, there's those fires we were worried about. Um, wow, it's actually a really rough spot for fires to be. I'm going to rush over here and try to put those out. If that spreads into our piloting, we got a big problem. Well, first volleys here have not been great. Okay, again, um... Right as these get to us, we're going to cloak. And the second these projectiles pass over my ship, I'm going to fire my weapons to get my cloaking out of here. I actually want to cancel my cloak, which seems very counterintuitive, but it is the right move. Canceling the cloak uh, right after those pass over means we'll have that back online for the next time that happens. I'm just going to wait here. Nice. G G. What a crazy run that was. We had two crew inside of Sector 6. That definitely calls for some dapper time. What a fun run. GG, what a run. During Dapper Time, Andaru, thanks for 37 months, 3 years, and climbing. Nice. I'm going to say mid 5,000s on score there. I'm going to say 5,600 flat. That might be a little bit overselling the run. We did get an exceptional amount of free stuff that does not count towards the end scrap collected. So I'm actually going to change it to 5,400. Let's see. Oh, over 6,000. Wild. Got our most ships defeated for this save, which is not too many runs. Guess that makes sense. Then we had 1,965 scrap collected. That's more than I thought it was. Though we did have um, eight weapons and uh, four shields. Okay. Cool run. All right, guys, we're going to head into the uh, Spelunky Daily here. 
see how that goes. Hopefully good. Let's pick a character here. We can meet man rides again today. Hey, Orison, thanks for that very generous 35 bits, dude. Appreciate that. I'm going to nom a very quick banana here, and then we will play Frog in the Hole and head into the daily. So give me just a quick 30 seconds or so here. Alright, time for some frog in the hole. Got that frog in the hole. Penguin in the hole. Cricket in the hole. Tunnel man from downtown. Oh, meat man's on fire. Weep. It's a live bomb. Can we make it out of here? We sure can. If you're new to the Spelunky or the Daily, uh, our goal here is to collect the most money possible. Uh, each run of Spelunky has four main worlds, four levels of mines, followed by four levels of jungle, and then four levels of ice caves, and then four levels of temple. And you can play a very long set of prerequisite tasks on your run. You can also access a fifth and final world called Hell. That's our goal on every run, but it doesn't happen all the time because Spelunky is extremely brutal. Easily one of the hardest games I play. Easy. Our first prerequisite task to try to get to hell uh, starts right here in the mines. We're going to try to combine a gold key and gold chest together. That'll happen in the second, third, or fourth level of the mines every time.
Okay, there's our uh, key. Uh, well. Ooh, that was close. Key and chest right next to each other is awesome. Makes it nice and easy on us. Don't just spend a bunch of resource. Just get it done. To a pretty decent start here. Uh, every level after this level will have an extremely angry shopkeep waiting to try to kill us because we stole from this guy. That includes every level all the way through hell. And we're off. No, there's no speed run bonuses for score in Spelunky. It's all about that cashola. Prefer not to aggro that guy. I don't think Pups is getting rescued either. Sorry, Pups. You know, this exit is one of the toughest. I'm going to figure this out here in a minute. All right, this is going to get weird. Oh, he got me. Okay, not yet, though. We're fine. We're fine ish. Hey, hey. I'm alive. Cheesy rice, man. <gasps> that is as close as it gets without dying. Wow. Wow. I'm out of here. I'm going to bet a lot of people died right there in the daily. Okay, probably going to use a bomb here to try to get that pups. Pups an item. Oh, item there too? What? Oh, I got to pull some hot potato shenanigans to get those. Okay. Hot potato shenanigans, indeed. Each damsel or pugsel turned in in this case will give you an extra one HP, so pretty relevant at the moment, yes. Cool. Store is sketchy, but we can make it work. Right, I'm just going to use a rope if I survive here.
Did I get him? No, I did not. shoes as well nice okay the ghost is gonna show up here but I got some work to do yes yes terrible chill Can I drag the ghost through there? Maybe. God, that was crazy. Okay, we already turned in puffs so I can grab my guns back now. This is a very, very tricky level. So I'm going to drag him down here and then climb up back to the item that we can see there. And we're going to try to actually um, have the ghost go through the vault. It's going to be a big risk with only eight bombs, but I think it's correct. Oh. Well, GG, I thought I needed one more tile there to whip the arrow while I was jumping up. I misunderstood the situation. Good run. Alright guys, we're going to do one more here. Oh yeah, that was four tiles, it needs to be five. That was a very uh, challenging daily. I like it. Hey there, FDR. Thanks for three awesome months during that insanity. Hope you're having a nice one. Thanks for keeping it official with Twitch Prime. On this run, we won't be so hard-pressed to get money. Uh, wouldn't be a spelunky run if you don't hit yourself with a rock. Here we go. Two free items. Believe it. A bad money start, about a little above average. Oh yeah, for sure, Poopnar. I actually thought about throwing the puppy up there, but my brain had convinced myself that that was the uh, the safe um, leap up arrow. But I was one tile misremembering. 
Also could have brought something throwable with us, but I just really thought that was going to be fine. Spelunky teaches again. Well, this ain't gonna be a legal run. No, sir. No, sir. I'm a little bit worried about what's over here. I'm gonna take a look. If our key and chest is over here, it's not. Um, if I bomb right here, should be able to get back up. Yep. Oh, wait, we got gloves. 150 pounds rope. You know, what the heck? Oh my god, I don't have sticky bombs. Sticky bombs, pretty important. Hey, pups, how you been? How you been? Wow, that is a lot of bombs. Okay, I see key down there. Can we get to this naturally or not? Yes. Alright, gonna take this right here, gonna get the key and chest unlocked. I'm also gonna take the time to just go one, two here. Give him the old stagger bomb. Okay, key and chest combined, pups rescued, shopkeepers slain. Got a penny right now? No way. Uh huh, look at that. I know, pin pin, it's tough. It's tough being a pin pin your, your whole life. Yeah. That's tough. Sketcherific.
All right, double shopkeep. Cape looks good. Double shopkeep looks dangerous. Our cats are all indoor cats, uh, MT. Always have been. Dropped his guns, good. Nice. One glove for each hand, we're unstoppable now. Oh, a little alien in the urn, that's a one in 1,000 chance. Hey, that's me on the wanted poster, looking good. Black market entrance immediate. Uh-oh, Pups, you okay? Pups is fine, just concussed. Actually, let's see if there's a Kali shrine in this level before we turn Pups in. Also, if that's gone off already, there's probably a helping hand store. Probably. Oh, cool, we can actually jump back up through there. Uh-huh. As predicted. Okay, I was gonna drop this down here for right now. Yeah, this uh, this exit's not worth it. Looking good. Bodies, man. Dude, somebody was still alive there. Okay, well, we've made it to the black market. This is the next step in reaching hell. We're gonna acquire the Ankh here. Is that item right down there? Okay, 12 bombs down there. Awesome. Jetpack. That's a jetpack. 
Now you're cooking with mayonnaise. Yes, four gloves now, one for each hand and for each foot. I will not be stopped. Wow, pups, do you know how lucky you are, bud? That was one absorbent monkey. Bees! <laughs> oh my god, that is, that is a hive right there. Let me tell you about it. Just did. Give me that royal jelly. What are you guys doing? That's why you don't play with guns. Guns not a toy. There we go. Not really Kobe, but we got there in the end. Yes, the end of the breach uh, playthrough will be on uh, YouTube. Really enjoyed that game. Well, at the time I was streaming it, it was uh, <laughs> a difficult time. Actually, that experience led to um, a lot of our current format with the no reviews. I think end of the breach was a tough one for a lot of people because since it was made by the FTL developers, it was held to this extreme extremely high standard which is fine but it was it was difficult to enjoy at release because everybody was being um, so intense about what they thought about it which is fine lesson learned on my end but I did enjoy and would recommend into the breach I think it's a really nice game I actually bamboozled myself during that playthrough to speak honestly because I told myself oh, I'm going to go into this with no expectations and just kind of enjoy the experience, but um, it's pretty hard to do in an environment where everybody's being ultra critical about everything, which I put myself in. I'll take credit for that. Very grateful for that experience. It made me realize a lot of very important things about providing a relaxing broadcast and the type of environments uh, my choices can create. As always, broadcasting continues to be a learning experience. Here's another vault. Do you want? Mm 
Whoa, where'd he go? But yes, that experience and many others is the reason that I do not review games on stream and I only play games that I enjoy and recommend. It's the simplest and uh, best format in my opinion. If the goal is relaxation and enjoying something. All right, we're definitely gonna steal from this guy. I don't think we're gonna ghost him here as we got through this level really quick, but we could. Ah, uh, what the hell, let's get some gold here. Where did I put my guns down? Uh oh. Where's my guns? There's my guns. Um, no, this is bad. Bombing in from the top was cheaper. Let's actually just let this guy run out, huh? We'll find the exit, no problem. figure it out all by himself. All I want to do here is uh, vault that. We're not going to be doing a crazy amount of gem farming on this run, but this is a huge uh, monetary gain for very little effort. Easy 75,000, well, 80,000, including that other gem. And we're out of here. That's right, this is not the daily. If it was, there'd be a red skull to the right-hand side of the rope. Whoa, Mr. Snakeman. Hmm, you know, the psychic presence area... Seems rather unnecessary to go back there. There is a jetpack that lives back there. That's nice. But since we're already wearing a jetpack, seems probably a bit overkill. Yep, alright. Also, since this is the Psychic Alien, we know this is not our Resurrection area. The Resurrection Shrine and the Psychic Alien are never on the same level. Oh, puppers. That's tough, bud. So we'll be resurrecting on the next level, guaranteed here. Hey there, Trickster. Thanks for five awesome months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thank you. Okay. When we uh, resurrect here, we're going to have a new HP pool. 
So I was going to say, we want to turn in the pups. Well, hold on, why is my jetpack there, dude? Okay, we did get the jetpack back. That was scary. You can lose your jetpack if you become crushed. Whoa, you have a good time over there, Mr. Spoodmans. I've never seen the jetpack be that far from the character upon death, though. I guess I haven't died that close to the shrine very often. Make sure there's not a shrine on this level before we drop pups off. There's not. Okay, next step. Quite the reaction there, huh? I'm very hesitant to go to the mothership here. There's not going to be more items. I'm actually going to pass on mothership on this run. I think we got a decent shot at a Yama rope kill here. Decent. Pups, where you at? Oh, cool. Hey, Pupperini. Hey, Nubis. I'm gonna go around for Nubis here. Anubis holds the scepter, which combines with the stupid hat we just got for trading our Ankh. Looking around for more boxes here. Yeah, that caveman has no idea how lucky he is. Nice! You did that to yourself. Alright, we got our scepter, we got our stupid hat, and we're headed towards the City of Gold with 68 bombs. Feels good, man. Alright, we got immediate entrance to the City of Gold here. Not even a real dead guy, you should be ashamed of yourself. gonna take a little peek around here not a big peek just want to look to see if there's any boxes or urns and stuff that could escalate us you know what I'm good man that looks nice if you want to die I'm out of here Well, we made it all the way to the City of Gold.
Whoops. Oh, dude. I did that to myself. GG. A second bomb I threw that stuck to the cultist distracted me, and then, uh, well... Ain't that spelunky. Nothing to be sad about on that one, just a small mistake. Let's think about that one real quick. Okay. All right, got time for one more win, loser, draw. This is it. Let's swap our character here too. Let's give Yang a go. The City of Gold is a level you have to get to if you're going to go all the way to hell. It is the best money opportunity in the game, too, as every block is made out of blocks of gold. Frog, in the hole. Penguin, in the hole. Cricket, in the hole. Tunnel Man from downtown. Really? I'm gonna say that's not right. Let's grab this little mouse here to activate this this trap. You can either hold on to a critter while passing through the arrow trap to uh, have it absorb the arrow, or you can throw it through and get multiple uses. Camera, huh? Nah. Camera's alright, but no undead enemies in sight anytime soon here. Whoops. Can we just reach pups naturally? We sure can. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Great first level there, 17 sevens, a large amount of money. Ooh, alternate mines track. This run is blessed. Almost seems worth a bomb, but... Oh, yeah. Well... This is one of the hardest shops to steal from. So it's got the bunker right there. The reason that makes it tougher is that you have very little room to maneuver. And now I'm going to bomb here, because Pups is nice, and so is all that money's. My bomb. Hey, Koweki, thanks for making it official with Twitch Prime. Glad you're enjoying the content enough to even consider that. 
Huge thank you to everybody to subscribe and resubscribe with Twitch Prime. Huge part of why we're full time for going on eight years now here on Twitch. No place I'd rather be, nothing I'd rather be doing, and happy to say, enjoying this experience now more than ever. Definitely a few points in my career where I didn't think I'd be saying that at the eight-year mark, but uh, can say approaching the broadcast with the highest level of appreciation and enjoyment that we ever have. It's a beautiful thing. All right, I will bomb for a cape here. Nice. Okay, no glove here. Not enough ropes to really justify going back either. Um, wow, three bats too. That's a something. Oh man. Oh my gertie. Okay, not dead. <laughs> All right, then. Ain't that spelunky. This game, man. Okay, there's our chest. So key and chest lives here. Cheesy rice. Oh no. Thought I was dead there. Okay, we do have sacrifice shrine. Uh-oh. Very well should have died there too. Da -da. Might be worth bombs if we live. And that is an if. There's the key, nice. This is very similar to the exit in the daily. Let's see if we can do it better this time. Gotta break this web here. There we go. Okay, there's Blippin, so Black Market is near. There's Black Market right here. Right next to Pups, too. I might just rescue Pups and head on in. Yeah, I don't think any more shenanigans need to be done. That's fine. Bees! Okay, well, I do uh, very much want to get those bees. All right, we'll bomb back through. Hopefully some ropes or a jetpack inside of the store. But four more HP here is uh, definitely worth dropping down a level or two here. 
Easy. Hey, hey there. Give me that jelly. another bomb. He's still alive down there. Oh, man. Okay, that's good enough. Oh, no. Okay, are we dead? We're dead. Going back down there for some fisticuffs, man. What? That pit was a lot deeper than I anticipated. Hey, Flutter Dash 98, thanks for 11 wonderful months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thank you. Well, it wasn't our day for Spelunky, but what can you do? Still a very fun time playing. Oh man, would you guys take a look at this pin pin though? Look at those feets. Covering her eyes. It's not that bright, is it? The lights weren't even on. Yeah, what a good pin pin. Yeah. Sleepy kitty. Sleepy baby kitty. Totally normal kitty feats right there. Yeah, Penny's desperate for any and all pets. So I'd say all of our cats will let you pet their feet, as long as you're gentle about it. Isn't that right, Pin Pin? Okay, I'm sorry. Let me touch that Tum Tums, though. It's a little bit, a little bit. Tough life for sleepy baby kitties. That is true. James does hate having her feet touched, but she'll tolerate it. She'll tolerate it just a little bit before she snaps at you. Just a little bit. Well, hey, everybody. Regrettably, that is all the time that we have for this Tuesday broadcast. About an hour shorter than our normal Tuesday broadcast. Got a lot of appointments and stuff going on this week. So thank you all for the wonderful time we're able to spend together. Wish it was a little bit more, but life schedule is what it is right now. I'll uh, be back at it on Friday at 11 uh, p.m. Pacific. Then we have one more month of streams after Friday starts before... We got Fragmas Winter beginning on December 1st, so there'll be one stream each day from December 1st through 31st. As a reminder, going to run three minutes worth of ads here uh, on the way out. It's the only ads I do for each broadcast is one three-minute block right at the very end. If you allow us to play, to support me uh, and our time here. If not, thank you so much for the time you chose to spend here today. Had an awesome pl time playing FTL and Spelunky, and look forward to our Friday broadcast in a few short days. Uh, thanks for another great week here on Twitch TV. Appreciate you and your time so very much. It's been an awesome one. Enjoy this sleepy floof on the way out, too.
Have a good one, Ida Fine, Flacco, One Sex, Slurgly, Val P, Quasi Mendinas, Ella Ron, Nesquix, Catbert, Nohana, Faison, Phoenix, Chompy, Legitimized, Fubnar, have a good one, Slurgly, Flutterdash98, Mr. Bort, Shakaron, and so many others. We'll catch you guys in a few short days to kick off another week. And then one more month before Fragments begins, starting this Friday. Mm. Had a great time today. Thank you again, everybody. <laughs>